Hi, everybody. It's Diana with Stamping with Di. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I hope this stays working because we are having a downpour right now and lots of wind. So sometimes that messes with my internet. So let's just keep our fingers crossed. Um, this is um, monsoon season in Arizona, and that's where I'm from. I'm from Santan Valley. My name is Diana, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So welcome to my Stamping with Di channel. I'm so glad that you're here, whether you've been here before or if you are just joining me today for the first time. Welcome. And this is my Di's shorts. So I'm going to try to be quick and make it a short so I can bring everything to you um, in case we have issues. So, um, so again, fingers crossed. All right. So I'm just going to I'm going to do the hippo. So I'm just going to put the hippo here while I turn the phone, just so that you have something to look at other than my hand. All right. So this is what I'm going to use today. So let me get myself situated. All right. But before I get started with that. I want to remind you that I still have two, let me move this a little bit. I still have two class packets available from my By My Side. And so you get the By My Side stamp set and the solid faceted gems. And it's 60 for the class in, or in the United States only. And it includes these projects. So these are the projects that you'll be making in the class. So there's the first card. Here is the second cute little card. Hi, everybody. I know, Rhonda, it's getting bad. And I'm like, oh, usually our monsoons come later in the day. All right, so here is this one here. That's card number three. And card number four and card number five so like i said i still have two class packets available um but you want to make sure you holler at me right away and in fact this card is what inspired me for today's card all right so let's get this out of the way so we are using so here i am i'm trying to be quick without being like you know make you not know what i'm doing all right, so I'm going to make a slim line card, and these are all the pieces I need. But first, let's go to the hippos. Now, the hippos are for celebration. So if you are interested in the hippo, you want to make sure you grab them soon because they're, I don't think they'll make it till the end. So you have the hippest hippo I'm using and the die. <clears throat> so if you are ordering... um. You know, this would be a $50 order, a $50 order. You could pick these two. If you did a $150 order, you bit get three celebrations. So you could get this paper, which I'm using today, as well as these two guys here. And you would get hostess benefits. And you could, if you want, you could grab this Celebrate Everything DSP that I use a lot. In fact, this is the DSP <clears throat> that I used to do the um, lollies. This is where this DSP came right here. So anyway, all right. So I just wanted to let you know about that. Because celebration only goes to the end of the month. and But the supplies are only while they last. All right. So let me quickly go to our little hippo. Now I want to change the hippo into a cow. So this is going to be a field of cute little cows. But if I've been around cows in my lifetime and the cow's nose is not quite like a hippo nose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black simply right marker and I'm simply going to make this mark on the nose. And then this is more like the shape of a cow nose. And then I'm just going to simply start coloring. So let me get my blends over here. So I want to definitely, because that's kind of what I wanted to show you today mostly was the cow. And then we'll continue with the card. But in case um, my internet goes out, at least you'll know how to make your hippo into a cow. 
All right, so then I'm going to take my light flirty flamingo. So I'm probably missing questions because I'm just so like, oh my gosh. And I think a lot of it is not necessarily the internet, but it is my Wi-Fi. My studio is um, all over where our um, two-car garage used to be. All right, now this is dark petal pink. So I depend on Wi-Fi for my internet. And I think that's part of it, what goes out like, cause sometimes our TV still works and that's internet. Um, but it's directly wired and I'm not directly wired out here. So I think that's part of it. All right, so this is now just light petal. So that's the little snout. So see how it gives him, gives him or her a different look. And then I'm going to take my light gray granite. So I'm, I, let's see if I'm missing any questions real quick, real quick. Um, hi, hi everybody. Um, usually I say your names, but I'm just like trying to be really quick. Could you get a booster? Wendy, I do have a booster. Yep. There's a booster out here. Um, and it definitely helps, but when the Wi-Fi goes out, then it doesn't work. And that's what's happening because the TV is directly wired into the modem. So that's that's where the problem lies. Um, so anyway, so that's why I'm trying to be like quick. So if you are new to my channel, I don't usually go like talk like a, a crazy person. I usually take a little bit more time, but I don't want to um, miss out. All right. So then we're going to take our light basic black. And I'm going to start making the little um, cow dots. So we're just going to make some cow splotches on our little hippos that are now going to be cows. And this just totally changes the look of the hippo. And I'm just making some squigglies. Gosh, when we drove to Illinois, we went through this Texas. I can't think of the city it was, but it was, this one farm was just, all you could see was cows. I mean, forever cows. All right, so look how cute that little cow is just by adding those um, little cow dot thingies. All right, now this is dark smoky slate. So I'm just gonna do the hoofs cause now we'll call them hoofs of our cow. But doesn't that change the look? It looks more like a cow, don't you think, with the nose shape like that? All right, and then his tail will just go on the little outside of the nose there just to emphasize the nostrils. So there you have your cute little cow. But I want to make the nose be a little more cow-like. And cows kind of have um, dimples like these dimply things in their nose. So I'm just gonna take my blend. And I'm just gonna put some dots because if you Google cow noses, it is so funny to Google it. And so that, <coughs> excuse me, that's what I was looking at too. <coughs> oh, okay. So let's see here. <coughs> I apologize. All right, so see, now he's got those kind of dimply things that the cow has on his nose. All right, so let me bring over these two because I did these ahead of time just to make things go a little faster. So you've got your three little cows. All right, now, Dawn, I don't know who um, thought of doing the cows. It wasn't me. I just changed the nose because the shape or whatever. Um, one person I saw was Ashley Pfeiffer from, from Canada. Um, she didn't do the nose. I was just like, oh, I want to change that nose so it looks more cow-ish. And so then that's when I was Googling cow noses. All right, so this is going to be on the inside. So I swear we're getting like all our rain in like two days because we've had rain now like three days in a row and some big winds. Hi, Shannon. So I hope 
if you are asking any questions, anybody, please keep asking them so that I see them. Because as I scroll, I might miss it. Um, so, yeah. So, Rhonda, you're not too far from me. So, it's like crazy, the weather. All right. Inside. Inside, 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 upside down. All right. Now, let's get to the front. Now, this is... Um, from that Love of Rings DSP that you'll get for free um, with a $50 order. These are from Basic Border. So again, if you are new, I, I swear I don't usually talk this fast, but our storm is here. Basic Borders and Give It a Whirl is where I got the clouds from. And then what I'll do is I will put a supply list underneath this video of everything I used so that you'll be able to click on it in order. And if you follow my blog, did anybody notice my blog got updated? So if you go to stamping, that's with a G, stampingwithdye.com, you can see my new blog. So there's still some things that I need to do, like update you know, other things like the header here on my channel and all that kind of stuff. But, um, but at least the blog is updated and I love the fresh look of it. All right, so I'm putting this down here. So this is just a parakeet party, and we're just going to make some hills. So we've got this hill here, and this was just green tip glue that I put in this little glue bottle. It makes it a little easier to squish out, and I'm just squishing it onto the top, and then I put my glue down here, and then that way it catches you know, here and here, I'm going to cut this off. So I really don't want to put glue down here. And then we're going to just go like this. And that hides where that those two meet, because this die isn't as long as the slim line. It's shorter. So that just gives me a little, little, um, it just kind of, and gets that seam away or that whatever that is. All right. So I'm trying to be quick, trying to be quick. Calm down, calm down, Diana. All right. So then I'm just going to trim these off, and then I'm going to add those clouds. Now, the the um, basic borders is an awesome die. So if you are trying to get to that $150 order in order to get your hippos and your hippo dies and your DSP, that's a great border die to get if you don't have it all right so now look we have these rolling hills right there then it also has in that same die these awesome clouds and you can make them as big as your paper is but just remember it's they're only as long as this so i'm going to do the same thing so i'm just going to glue my clouds on like that glue my clouds and then i'm going to put some glue along there and i'm going to kind of put them at an angle and then we'll put another one onto the side here i don't want to get any glue on my my cows so um so yeah, so if you have any questions, make sure you let me know. And um, I will put the supplies down below. So I'll go here. I can see still on the TV, so that's always a good sign. All right, then I'm gonna put this here. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to cover, trying to cover because I am gonna trim it. All right. So I am going to trim it. So you could like, and I could have made these skinnier, but I'd rather have too much paper to cut off than not enough. All right. Because then we're going to trim our clouds and then we're going to add with dimensionals, our cows and our other clouds. onto our card. I'm also going to use on the inside of the card a greeting from the by my side 
stamp set. I love that font. And it had some cute sayings. So I thought one of those went a little better than the sayings that came with the heroes. All right. Here's our cute little scene. All right. So then we're going to take our little cows. So let's bring our cows over. Aren't they adorable? All right. I love cows. Oh, my gosh. We grew up in the country, so there was always cows around. And now there's even a neighbor not too far from us that has a cow. We have neighbors all around us with, with different animals. So you go out at night and you can hear peacocks and stuff like that. All right, so let's start putting our little cows on. Um, oh, Wendy, you are 5,100. Oh, because I do you live near that cow farm? Or are you live in Illinois? All right, so let's put our cute little dancing cow right here. Then we have this little one, and she's holding um, my phone's ringing, but that's okay. I don't recognize the phone number. All right. So then we're going to put this cute little cow over here with her little flower. And then this guy here. Oh, you're in the UK. Oh, I guess that would make more, more sense on the mileage. All right. So we have this little guy here. And then let's put our clouds. So I'm going to put all these on their back side. And I'm going to, since I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to stick them, I'm going to put my dimensionals kind of towards the center. And that will give me a little wiggle room if I decide to overlap any of them. It's going to allow me to um, sneak those in and around the other clouds. Let's see. I only want five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So let's put our clouds. Ooh, I think I just heard thunder. All right. So let's see here. We're crossing our fingers. South Wales. Okay. So here we're going to start our clouds. So we're going to put this little cloud here. And I'm going to put it so it sticks out just a little bit. And then we're going to go cloud. So I love these two dies go perfect together. And this is give it a whirl. And the funny thing is, I don't think I've ever used the give it a whirl die as it's supposed to be made. Because this makes like a movable card and everything. I just use all the bits. I have never used it as a give it a whirl. All right. So we're going to put this one here. And another big one. So hopefully, if you live out in Arizona, you don't have anything planned to do outside this weekend because I think it's going to be a wet one. All right, so we're going to put a big one there. And then, so this is why I put these dimensionals towards the center because I want this one to overlap this one. So see, it's allowed to overlap that one because the dimensionals were on the inside. And then this one, because I love when they, you know, like they, they overlap and it looks like, you know, a cloudy sky. And I probably went, I went a little crazy with my clouds. All right. Very good. So there you've got your cute little scene. So let's stick it on the card. And then I couldn't resist using the flowers from the, um, where did I put the hippo die? Ba, ba, ba. Oh, there it is from the hippo die. So these little flowers I'm going to use came from the hippo die. So let me just give that a good crease. So let's stick this on the front. And any clouds that stick out, I don't mind. Like I, don't, I like that. This one is a little bit too far because it's going beyond the card. So if it goes beyond the main card, I trim it off just so it doesn't interfere with the envelope. But I don't mind if they stick out 
of the focal image as long as I stay within within the um, card. All right, so let's put a few little flowers. So I'm just going to take some green tip glue, put a couple little drops, and then we have all these fun little flowers. So these are from the hippo dye. So I'm just going to put a few on the card. I also want to change. Now she's holding a flower, but I want to put one of these flowers on there instead. So I'm going to just stick this on there right over top of that one. And that's why I colored it. So if you see any color back there, you know, your eye doesn't see just a blank spot. All right, so we're going to put a flower here. Underneath his foot there. And here. And then we have to put some bling. We have to put some bling. And I'm going to use, so see how cute? Putting some flowers in the field. All right, so I'm going to use the Festive Pearls, and they have silver, gold. I use the silver a lot. Here they are. Get the silver out of there. There we go. So we have red. Um, I think it's, um, oh, my gosh. What is that? Soft succulent, I think it is. Red, gold, silver. All right, so I'm going to use... This time, I think I'm going to use the gold. So on the other card, and I'll show you that one I did earlier, I did the succulent. But this one, I'm just going to switch it out so they're not totally identical. And I'm going to put gold on there. And this is such a pretty gold. I'm not really a gold person, if you could tell. Like all my jewelry is silver or white gold. And um, I'm not a big gold person. But these are really pretty gold. They're not like a tacky gold. They're just a really pretty, and I don't know if it's because they're small, so it's not so in your face or what. All right, so there's the front. And then on the inside, let me just show you the finished card that has the thing on the inside. So here's the one I did earlier. They're very similar, right? The clouds might be a tad bit different. They look kind of, now this one I put a few little gray speckles on their noses. And on the inside, I put life is better with friends like you because I thought that was the perfect greeting to go with because that's what they are, right? They're just little friendly cows in their field. And that greeting came from the by my side is where that greeting came from. It has such cute little, little greetings. But um, so anyways, all right, so let me get the spinned. <laughs> Sorry, that probably made you seasick. Um, so I just want to make you. Um, um, all right, so I just want to make sure there was no question or whatever. So, um, so anyways, I just think they turned out so stinking cute. And just look how adorable they are as cows. So whoever got the idea for the cows, like I said, it wasn't me. Um, you know, I've seen a bunch of people post, but um, I just had to change the nose. I'm a little anal, and I, I just think that that little mark with the nose just makes it look more cowish. Um, and anyways, all right, so I'm going to say, yay, dancing in the woods. They totally are, Lanza. All right, so I'm going to say see you later. I will see you Monday for my mimeograph, Monday with a twist. That's 3 o'clock. Arizona time, same time, same channel. I always go at three o'clock and that's Arizona time, Monday for Mimeograph, Monday with a twist, Tuesday with my Teach Me Tuesdays, and then Friday with um, my dyes shorts. So Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. So those are um, the times. And um, so even when your times change, Arizona doesn't change your time. So when the times do change in October, November, or whenever that is, um, it might be a little different at your house, right? It might be an hour earlier or an hour later or whatever. Um, 
So just keep that in mind. It's always Arizona time. All right. Um, so, okay. So, so thank you so much for joining me this week. I so appreciate it. Even if it's storming out, we're here together in the dry studio. So I will say see you um, later. Have a great weekend. And um, I'll see you Monday. Okay. All right. Um, let me end the stream. Good, good, good. All right. Bye, everybody.